Hi everyone, welcome back. I figured I'd pop up the camera just while I was finishing off my makeup and get the vlog started. It's Tuesday in New York. I'm it's one of these days that I'm feeling really good at the moment. I'll explain or I'll give you a brief update later about the sickness situation. But some days I feel really good and then some days I wake up and like the pain as soon as I eat something it's there or it comes out of the blue and I just don't feel like filming or anything but today I feel really good so I put on some makeup I'm just gonna pop on some lipstick I really like this one I have like a few lipsticks I like but this is really nice with stripped down it's from MAC it's from their mineralize rich range and it's Lux Natural yeah Lux Natural it's really nice it's kind of like a a light pink but you can make it a little bit more deep with liner underneath but I like it just for kind of casual days around the house um also i have this new jumper on so i'm not the biggest tie-dye fan i know that's like against popular opinion it's just not totally me especially like all the really really colorful ones they're just no it's too much for me i love them on some people but they just don't suit me but i saw this jumper um it was actually one of my followers she has her own shop it's called shop Amber Rochelle, I'm pretty sure I'll link it in the description box, but she makes her own jumper and I really liked this one because it was like one color. Like it's obviously like tie-dye print, but I like that it's all blue and it's honestly so comfy. It's oversized, really good material, and I love the color. So just have that on while I'm getting ready this morning. But anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna vlog a little bit today. Um it's mainly gonna be kind of an interior update vlog and it's been a long time since I've done that so hopefully you're excited as well but basically we made one pretty big change <laughs> to the apartment over the last few weeks and because I haven't been vlogging and like really been on that much I, I haven't had a chance to show you so I was like I have to show you in today's video so I'll show you that and then I also have bought a few other like little decor pieces that we got a new rug um for the entryway just like little bits and bobs i've been kind of picking up throughout like quarantine and stuff just to kind of spruce the place up because obviously we've been spending so much time here and i want to just get the place perfected to film a full apartment tour so i'll show you all those little bits and pieces and i also have a few new um clothing pieces that i might even show you obviously i got this new jumper haven't been buying loads i'm not gonna lie like i've been really strict with myself because i've been clearing out my wardrobe and my accessories and like i don't want to spend all this time you know minimalizing my wardrobe and then just like buying loads and loads but i have got a few things here and there just some summer pieces um that I know will be like good investments and like good pieces to have and I won't like want to clear them out. I think I've just become so much smarter. Every year I get smarter with like what I'm buying and I'm especially in the summer because I feel like in the summer, I'll definitely do more videos on this now throughout the next few months, but I feel like in the summer, we're all very inclined to buy impulsive things. Like we'll buy, oh, that's a cute dress. I'll wear that this weekend. And then we wear the dress once or twice or three times and we're sick of it. Like come next summer, we're sick of it. And that's a lot of the pieces in summer. They're much more like throwaway pieces for the summer, which I'm not about. So yeah, I'll talk about that in other videos, but I have bought a few little things here and there that I will show you because they are nice. I got some new shorts and stuff, which I really like. But anyway, that's a very, four minute intro like I'm just not capable of doing short intros I try every time and it never happens but look that's just me so I'm gonna finish up my makeup I just put on really natural uh, you all know I love the it cosmetics CC cream I wear the shade light like I have tan on but I find I have a dark shade as well so the shades are hard with this brand I'm not gonna lie so I have medium tan and even when I have my fake tan on I feel like this is even still a bit too dark it almost kind of feels a bit cakey on me when it's too dark so I often just wear the light even when I have tan on and sometimes when I don't have tan on I can kind of make this work so yeah if you're similar to me try it in the light shade but if you're if you don't wear tan or if you're like paler than me like say I have tan obviously but I would I would even go a shade lighter because the light is still quite dark so yeah they need to make that a bit more clear but anyway, I really like that I've been looking for another CC cream to use but I haven't um, found one yet so if you have any good CC creams like really natural 
like foundations for the summer kind of like a mixture between like a tinted moisturizer and a foundation i still like coverage you know me i love my coverage but just something that feels light on my skin let me know if you have any recommendations and then under it i've been wearing a favorite glow screen i don't know if you can see but it really makes a difference it, it like brings up a bit of a glow so you can kind of see it there it's so good this is the best ever i think you can't get this in ireland i know lots of you follow her irish lots of you also are us but you can get this in the us and i think if you're in ireland you can order it on revolve.com the last time i looked i think it was in back order but have a look and see if you can get it it's so worth it then on my eyes do you have my usual palette i feel like if you follow my instagram you've seen this routine so much but i use this be perfect palette i obviously use it a lot it's battered but i just find it so good because i can use it for my eyes these kind of browny like orangey colors i use the blusher for my cheeks and then it also has highlighter so especially when you travel or like even going away for the weekend or whatever i just have to bring this it's so handy so i'll link that below in case you want to check it out and what else do i have on my mascara is my usual lancome i really like this i actually need to get a new one it's almost gone but i like that it's kind of like a thin brush can't really show now because i have the mascara on but it, it really like flicks them nicely which i love and what else that's kind of it isn't it yeah nothing nothing crazy today and then i showed you the lipstick i put a few curls through my hair i actually did dry shampoo i've actually been using this new dry shampoo that i've really been liking i'll show it to you in a future video it's good i've been testing it out over the last couple of weeks and i, I really do think it makes a difference because i've been trying not to wash my hair as much during quarantine i feel like it's better for your hair and this is like the best time ever and the best excuse not to have to wash it so often and also i haven't been working out a lot since i got sick so yeah it's kind of a good time to like test out good dry shampoos and see which ones actually work so anyway enough of me talking um i'll actually do the clothes try on kind of quickly so i'll just show you a few bits that i got there's really not that many it's just a few things that have come up come in that i know like are still in stock i'll do a quick little try on and then i'll show you all the new apartment stuff okay i don't really know if you're going to be fully interested in this but i absolutely live for this kind of stuff but basically so if any of you follow for a while you'll know i have the skims cozy robe in the cream and when they she just recently like kind of uh what's the word like restocked this color and then she also brought out new colors so kayla actually got this for me for christmas and she had tried to get me the full set but it sold out so fast so i went on myself and i finished the set so i got myself the top which is really nice it's like kind of a strappy one and then i also got the matching trousers so i want to try that on for you just to show you because i think some of them are still available and they do kind of restock from time to time from time to time and it is probably my favorite thing i've ever owned ever it is so cozy if you could just feel it even tommy was like oh my god that is the softest thing ever and then while i was on the site i got on quite early and this color was also available so i figured i would just bite the bullet and buy it in this color as well to have kind of as like a spare slash backup and also have it for next year because honestly it is just out of this world cozy so this is their aqua color i got the robe again um the trousers and the top i think actually the trousers are different sizes because i think that that was what all that's just what was left when i went down so i'll try on the two sizes i think these are extra what does this say um okay so this is xxs to xs and then i think this one is the size up from that as far as i can remember yeah okay this is small medium so i actually haven't tried this on yet i waited for this video but i have a feeling that this these will be maybe a tiny bit too big but i'll see if i can make them work and if not i will return even though it'll kill me because i really want this set um but i'll show you the difference in the sizes that that could be good for you to know anyway if you're like taller or like same as me or whatever so i'll try these on first and i'll show you okay so as expected slightly too long i had to roll them up these are made for absolute giants all together oh my god i wish they weren't so long but i think i will still keep them because at the end of the day i'm just wearing these pants around the apartment like i'm not going to be dragging them along a the floor I just think now for 
like I'll wear this in the summer like sometimes air conditioning is so cold in this apartment I love to be cozy and then obviously I'll have it for the winter so this is the cream set and here is the green okay perfect perfect sizing I'm 5'4 so if you're my height or smaller definitely go for that size the length is perfect they're nice and high-waisted they just fit really nice I'm obsessed with this color so glad I got the full set I was really close to just getting the robe in the aqua but I'm glad now I got the full set because it's something that I'll have for ages and I've washed my cream robe several several times and it's come out perfect every time so they wash really well not sure if this set's available as I said with the other one but I'll link them down below and you can see and I think I might actually return the cream pants I'll see if they're available I will if not I'll put up with them because these ones are like perfect this is like the exact length I need um but yeah really really impressed with these okay now back to summer clothes away from all the cozy stuff it is June and it's like a million degrees so this is one of my summer dresses that I have bought and as I said I haven't been getting that many summer pieces I'm just really kind of trying to use what I have and then just like complement them with like some pieces here and there but I did spot this on ASOS and I really liked the look of it and to be honest I ordered two dresses from there one was absolutely terrible quality it went straight back in a return and then this one I was even more impressed by the quality I just think that ASOS can be very you know 50 50 sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but when they do get it right i feel like they really get it right so it's just a very kind of like easy breezy summer dress it's a plain color gonna have this for years and years the material it's kind of like this like natural material and then it has buttons up the front um little pleats it's not full length also i have no tan on my legs just the top of me so ignore that um but it's not full length kind of like nearly to my to my ankles it just flows really nicely really easy to wear especially when it's very hot and yeah impressed by this one so i'll pop a link down below okay next up the perfect summer black dress i wore this at the weekend i love it as well this one's from river island quality is really good it kind of has like vibes from brands that do these kind of dresses that like are triple four times the price sometimes and when I saw it I just really wanted to try it and test it out to see how the quality was um it kind of has these like frill little bits on the sleeves on both sides um it's a it's a good material like it's not heavy so that it's still like breathable for summer but it feels like good it kind of like brings you in you know it's a, it's a good like quality material there's the slit on the leg and i love wearing this with brown it'd be lovely with white as well i wore like my brown fedora and like hermes sandals it's nice with these ones it's just i think you can't go wrong with a black summer dress and i really like this one so if you're on the search check this out okay then switching gears slightly i got this new workout set from another follower so the blue jumper earlier was from a followers brand and then one of my followers she messaged me on Instagram and she said that she was starting a new workwear brand and that she's followed me for years and could she send it so obviously I said yes so she gifted me this set and wow it is so so good the quality is amazing um, I forget the exact sizes but I can write them down below the brand is called Ollie & Co I think pretty sure I'll write on the screen if I'm wrong but she is based in London and I just want to give her a bit of a shout out so yeah really love it if you're on the search for like a small brand workout gear definitely look into this and then quickly back in the jumper to show you new shorts I got so I've actually got a few new pairs of shorts for the summer because I just really live in them like throw them on with a jumper with a white shirt with a t-shirt a bodysuit you just can't go wrong so I wanted to make sure I had pairs that I really loved and I just donated the pairs that didn't fit me right anymore you know pairs you just were keeping but when you went to wear them you just didn't really love them like there's no point ever keeping stuff like that either donate it or try and sell it if it's in good condition and invest in something that you actually love wearing but anyway, besides the point so these are my new Levi ones I absolutely love them I love Levi's jeans and these are such a nice fit so I'll link these below if you're on the search for a nice pair of denims 
So yeah, that's kind of the gist of what I've been adding to my wardrobe here and there. I've also been selling like crazy. <laughs> uh, I have a huge bag for donation as soon as they open up. So yeah, it just feels good to kind of um, kind of like perfect my wardrobe, like even behind me. So I put all my whites on this rail, just like my summer whites, just to kind of keep it airy for the bedroom. And then my wardrobe, I think, did I show you this when I was doing a video recently? Um, just before kind of I got sick and when I started to feel better, I really like organized the wardrobe really well. So I have like dresses over here. These are all my blazers, um, a few bits on the shelf there. These are all my tops and then all my trousers and jeans and stuff. And then up here is all my knitwear that I've kind of just like put away obviously for this time of the year. And actually, let me show you these dividers again. I put this on my Instagram recently and you went crazy for them. These shelf dividers, I cannot recommend them enough. Um, they just slide in, as you can see. They just help to keep everything very, okay, that needs to be tied up a little bit, but they just keep everything very like organized and neat and it's just easier to keep things folded properly when they're not like toppling over and stuff. So yeah, I really recommend them. I also want to try and get back into doing fashion videos. I know obviously over the last while, it's been hard because obviously we don't have anywhere to go. You know, often when I'm working from home, I'm pretty comfy. So I think I wasn't inspired myself to do videos when I wasn't dressing up myself. But now that it's getting a bit warmer and, you know, we're able to have a little bit more freedom here in New York anyway, we're kind of able to like go on a weekend trip in a car road trip and I can kind of pack for that. Like we went to the Hamptons, was it two weekends ago? And it was just so nice putting on like normal clothes so let me know what you're up to basically and what kind of like outfits you'd like to see or if you'd like me to choose a particular piece and style that and show how you can style it or just show you like wardrobe clear outs or like classic pieces that i have how i update summer stuff just let me know you all know i love like classic style way more than fast fashion and impulse buying i'm just that's not me so let me know um, what you want to see basically and kind of what you're dressing for and I'll try my best to get them filmed and I actually meant to mention so this jumper is by a black owned business which I also want to start featuring more and more here on my channel I mentioned in the last video that I was really like doing lots of stuff behind the scenes and just trying to think about ways that I can personally support more and um, we did a blog post and we featured lots of brands and this was one of them and I absolutely love it so I'm constantly looking for new ones now and I found some really cool ones so I'll be sure to like implement that a lot more I mean I definitely have in the past as well but I want to do it like even more and more now and maybe you can find some brands that you didn't know about and it's a win-win for everyone so yeah let me know in the comments what you like to see and I can get working and brainstorming but for now I'm gonna tidy up the mess I always make when I do a little try on get a little bit of work done I just have a few emails and stuff and add many stuff to do and then I'll check back in and show you the interior stuff it's a few hours later and I'm ready to show you the new decor updates um so as I said I have one big one and then some other small little ones to show you and the first one I think any of you who are like very very clued in even when I was doing the try on we got a brand new couch. Let me show you. Here it is. Sorry if it's a little bit bright. It's that time of the day where the sun kind of like shines in, um, but at least you'll get to see it in natural light. But this is our new couch. Okay, so for any of you who have obviously been following along, we used to have like kind of a two, three seater couch that just went right under here. And to be honest, like we absolutely loved it. We had it for about a year. Um, the reason I got that shape when I moved in first was because I didn't think I like had room for this style of a couch. Like this is what I always wanted. I just didn't really know until we actually lived in the space. So during quarantine, we obviously were spending so much time sitting down and obviously when I was sick and everything. So one day I spotted this online I said, do you know what, I'm going to chance selling the other couch. If it sells, it sells. We'll buy this one. If it doesn't, you know, whatever. It's no big deal. The old couch sold so fast. Literally so, so fast. I got a really good price for it. And then we got this one instead. And oh my God, it is the coziest, comfiest couch ever. It's literally like exactly what we wanted. Um, 
the only thing is i'm not sure if we need this chair anymore because we had this chair over here but obviously this takes up a good bit of the space now um so i must see about this i really love it so i kind of don't want to give it away or sell it maybe i'll squeeze it into the bedroom in the far corner if i can kind of clear out that area if not maybe storage and if i really don't have room i will sell it but yeah we'll see i feel like it doesn't really need it now because we have so much seating space um but it has just made such a difference to the room i feel like it's just kind of like finished off the room like this side of it anyway so now um all i have to do now really is like finish this little area so this is the area that really i struggle with a little bit um i got this lamp this is another new addition ignore the wire i need to just like make sure i'm leaving it in this corner and i'm gonna get basically this that i have on the tv wire and i'll obviously fix that up really nicely so it's really cool i thought it was like kind of unique uh let me show it to you on this part lights up i just thought it was kind of fun wasn't too expensive i'll link that down below um so i put this here for now i also got this serena and lily basket which we use for our blankets so yeah i kind of have the two of these that i'm playing around with also we have this little area so i've just brought this stool in but i could do a side table here and then i just have to figure out over here if you've been following for a while you'll know i tried a little console here before and it didn't really like fully win me over but i i do think i could still do something and then maybe do like a picture on the wall here and it would balance out this area because obviously we have the mirror here so yeah let me know your ideas but i just think now it's kind of inspired me to like do something over here when we got the new couch because i feel like it would really finish off the room and it's so cozy oh my god it's crazy the difference a different shape couch could make but yeah i love it it's oh yeah and it's from west elm i got it in their sale they were doing like 20 or 25 percent off one day during quarantine i was like click gonna get it so i got a pretty good discount and i'll link it down below for you okay and then i don't think i've ever really shown anything to do with the entryway um that much before but basically this is obviously where we come in and in here is like our washer dryer this is like tommy's wardrobe and a few of my coats and we store some stuff on top i'm actually going to show you because i did a pretty big tidy in here will tommy still be tidy okay pretty much um organized basically this is where tommy keeps all his stuff um i keep some of my coats tommy's like trousers and t-shirts and stuff and then we just use this like top area for storage um you know different bits and pieces sheets extra towels things like that so yeah this is like a a very used closet any space you have in new york is literal gold so yeah anyway this is the entryway area and i didn't really ever have like too much here ideally i would love to have in my ideal world um a lovely like chandelier coming down here and i've tried i asked them could i change this into a chandelier you know being pretending to just hope for the best and they said no so i'm just stuck with this little spotlight but i think it would be so beautiful with a chandelier but i'm doing the best i can with what i have so i ordered this new runner rug i actually found it through a girl i follow i think her name is like my texas house she's on instagram i saw her like at a talk with reward style a couple of years ago and she came out with a collection with um i think it's, the brand is called orion o-r-i-a-n and I was literally looking for a rug that would fit this area for so long because I didn't want anything too wide because obviously we opened these so I didn't want it to get in the way we have to open the door so it literally just fits perfectly and it's very thin so the door still opens and I just didn't want it to be in the way so I finally found this fits the space so perfectly it cuts off like at the end of this wall and yeah absolutely love it so i'll link this down below i forget the exact length um but it comes in a few different sizes and it comes in like a big version as well which i think is pretty nice and yeah i'm very happy i finally found something that works and then this is the little entryway area that i just put together um as you can tell i'm having a big lily moment they're my mom's favorite flowers for years and years and i've always loved them but i feel like in the last while and when i started kind of putting them into the apartment I now really really love them and I've been getting them every week, an expensive habit but they really kind of spruce the, spa the space up a little bit so I just put them into this vase we got in H&M, just put some candles on top of here, some more books, this mirror is from Target, I had this in the last apartment, I 
not sure if that's available but i'll have a look and or else i like, find you something similar i really love the round for the entryway and then this table i have to give a shout out to as well because again obviously i needed something very skinny because this area is really really skinny and the door opens up and i actually sometimes i would pull down even further so we've got a little bit more room to get into but if you are looking for something really skinny this is great um i forget the exact measurements but it really doesn't come out very far like this is like my foot it doesn't come out really far it has like this mirror top which is very chic i think this was like around a hundred dollars so like not expensive at all sometimes we'll keep like our shoes in here when we come home in the evenings and yeah it's just very very practical obviously i would love something a little bit more grand um hopefully in the next apartment i really want like a hallway kind of like a big hallway in my next apartment that's like one way kind of vision because i want to do this like big massive entryway but as i said right now just using what i have and i actually love how it turned out so i'll link all these below and if you have any questions let me know so yeah there are my little interior updates for you um i really really am beginning to love this apartment i feel like when we moved in first like i obviously liked it we wouldn't have chosen it if we didn't but it just took me a while to like really kind of get used to it i think because it was very different to our last apartment like our last apartment was upper east side like old building lots of character like a completely different vibe like a walk up no elevator um just a very different space to decorate so then when we moved to this building obviously it's much more modern and new we're only the second people ever to live in this exact apartment so everything was like sparkling but sometimes in these kind of buildings it can be trickier to kind of put your own stamp on it but i feel like over quarantine i've really really grown to love this apartment and like love the area and yeah I'll, I'll find it hard to leave this one probably next year we typically move every two years it's just it, it actually is what makes most sense in new york because the rents go up every year and sometimes it just pays to to move on to the next one because you often get incentives when you move to a new building especially luxury buildings so you'll get like a month free or sometimes at the moment you get two months free when you move to some buildings i've been like looking at them online so it makes more sense to move but as a result i feel like i'm just kind of getting used to an apartment and really like figuring out how i want it to look by the time i'm like halfway through our time here but anyway better late than never and i feel like it is um definitely becoming more homey the longer we live here but let me know what you think so i'm probably going to leave this video here um i don't think i've told you yet the kind of update on where i am sickness uh vibe but basically i have my next appointment tomorrow since i spoke to you in the last vlog i uh, remember i was telling you that i did the scans and all that so since then i've been to two different stomach specialists i finally found one yesterday just yesterday i went to him and he was by far the best person i've seen in the last five weeks like i feel like it's hard to find good people but then when you find them things start kind of clicking so i feel like i'm finally starting to get some answers and um believe it or not tomorrow i'm going in to get a procedure done basically a test so basically it's this test that um they put like a camera down your throat to look into your stomach doesn't sound very fun but i'll be knocked out for it i'll be asleep i think the procedure itself takes only like 15 minutes but i'll probably be knocked out for um a little bit after so that's first thing in the morning i have to be there for half seven and then kiln has to come with me and like pick me up and everything i can't walk home by myself so yeah tomorrow should be interesting but in a weird way i'm just looking forward to it because i feel like i'll finally like hopefully know what's wrong I just think like over the last five weeks i haven't seen that much of an improvement like even the doctor said yesterday like you know it's five weeks on i still shouldn't be in pain like obviously whatever i have is not going away and whatever i'm doing is not helping so he was like look let's just go straight to this test i want to see what's wrong and then we can figure out from there and if the test shows up nothing i'll be back to square one but hopefully he seems pretty confident that it will show up in this test um just from what i've told him and stuff and i feel like he finally gave me like a little bit of hope to figure out what it is so yeah i'll keep you updated that's tomorrow and i'm just gonna try and rest tonight now get myself organized i'm gonna finish this video so i can start the edit yeah that is a lot of updates in one video hopefully you enjoyed um 
basically I was just at home, nothing too exciting. But I kind of like these videos. I like when people are at home just updating me about random stuff. So hopefully you liked watching. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you did like it. It really helps my channel. Subscribe as well. At the moment, I'm going to do videos every Wednesday. Usual schedule when I'm 100% myself every Wednesday, Sunday. But right now, just until... I feel back to normal i'm gonna do every wednesday and then just go from there so keep an eye out every wednesday for a video and yeah i'll leave it there so thanks for watching bye